As there's always been at the Garland trial, this chasm between the violence of the evidence and the ordinary human kindness that you sometimes see in courtrooms, so it is uh, today. Today was really the last of the big days in the trial. The Crown prosecutors finished their case. Lawyers for Douglas Garland, who is the accused triple murderer in this case, announced that they will not be calling a defense. And the jurors were sent home for three days to come back on Monday for closing arguments. And then it will all wrap up pretty quickly. Um, but what really struck me today was uh, what the judge, uh, David Gates, he's an Alberta Court of Queen's Bench judge, had to say to the jurors. And, you know, there's kind of across the country, there's a newfound concern for the well-being of jurors who, of course, don't, uh, don't have much choice as long as they meet the sort of requisite qualifications. Uh, they don't have much choice about serving on a jury, and yet they are sometimes exposed to some pretty horrific evidence, and they certainly were in this case. And the judge has been very solicitous of them. Uh, but today he was, he was really fatherly and quite nice without ever being paternalistic. He told them to uh, be kind to one another over the next few days and be kind to themselves. He said, uh, uh, they should not be surprised if they're feeling anxious or frustrated or depressed or angry, uh, that these are normal human reactions to the kind of evidence they've heard. This is, of course, the case of the disappearance and alleged killing of Kathy and Alvin Lickness and their little grandson, Nathan O'Brien. And this was back in late June, early July of 2014. And the evidence has been awful. They found DNA of these three people all over the farm where Douglas Garland uh, then lived with his elderly parents near Airdrie. So the jurors have certainly seen and heard some awful things. Anyway, the judge told them, uh, you know, that these are normal reactions to feel the way they might be feeling. Uh, there is in Alberta, as is in Ontario as well, a service which gives confidential free counseling to jurors who need it. But the judge said, you know, most people get through this on their own, and they do. And he said, uh, you know, if you're feeling any of these things, don't try and block the experience, try and confront it and deal with it. Uh, he said, remember to do the things that give you joy in life. Um, and he said, have a nap, you know, uh, make a journal, uh, do whatever it takes, get a massage. Um, and he thanked them then and said, you know, the service they perform is uh, one of the most important and even noble things they can do for their fellow citizens and for the democracy. I thought it was a lovely way for him to send them off before they start the hardest part probably of their uh, task here, which is to decide the fate of Douglas Garland. That's it for me.